Stalker a Clear Sky is a game full of mysteries, secrets and hidden objects for the player to discover. Hello Stalkers and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout, in the final part of our showcase of the secrets of the game. This time we will go to Limansk, the hospital and the CNPP. Actually, before we go to Limansk, there are a couple of things that we need to do before. So first of all, in this mission where you have to cover the mercenaries to lower the bridge, you want to take down the snipers, because depending on how many members survive, you will get a different artifact from Leshy afterwards. So, after the mission is over, you can talk to Leshy, and if all of them survive, you will get a Colobok. However, if one of them dies, you will get a flame. If two of them dies, you will get a soul. And if three of them dies, you will get an eye. And if none survive, you will get, well, nothing. And then, after the bridge has been lowered and the mission is over, you will unlock a special reward inside Clear Sky's base. So you don't want to miss this reward because it is 50,000 rubles as well as a very rare FT assault rifle. So be sure to collect your reward at the trader. And actually this assault rifle can be fully upgraded by the local technician. So that could be a good thing to do if you are planning to use this weapon into the latest portions of the game. Because this could be very useful into Limansk and the hospital and the CNPP as well. After that we finally get to Limansk and from the get-go we have these crates and boxes at the first bus stop and then there will be some crates uh, in the alternate path that avoids the bandit ambush and then we have some crates at the back of this truck in the middle of the road so don't forget to pick those up then we have some crates again inside the back of a truck near this first intersection. So pick up the crates and then we'll go inside the building filled with bandits and we have this bandit exoskeleton here with a rare RP machine gun. So that's a heavy weapon that you can pick up. And just in the room next to there we have another uh, heavy weapon, this RG6 grenade launcher as well as, as well as a lot of grenades here. And then we have a lot of other crates inside the building, so be sure to check every corner. We have these small boxes on the shelves that usually contain a lot of ammo as well as medical supplies, which can be very useful in this later part of the game. So check out these boxes uh, in the corners as well. And downstairs we also have this small box. Some boxes here near the fridge, as well as a small one here. Be careful not to hit uh, the red barrel, because it can explode. And we have here a small box at the entrance as well. And one here on the shelf. Then there will be a small box hidden here uh, near an entrance. And then uh, another wooden box in this truck and inside the house where the monolith ambush you there are once again some small boxes in uh, shelves that have a lot of ammo as well as some medicines and in this square where the monolith is attacking from all directions we have a lot of corpses of freedom and duty members and in this basement there are a lot and I mean a lot of crates as well as small boxes most of them don't seem to contain anything, but some of them will have some ammo and other small supplies, so it's kind of a bit of a waste of time to destroy all of these, but if you're looking for every single thing, you can. And inside this basement, which is kind of a secret, there will be a strange room. So it's not really a loot or anything. But this is actually an easter egg. So as we make our way into this basement by blowing up the door, we have three crates inside this strange room with pillars. 
The atmosphere here is quite interesting, but the most uh, interesting thing is this room, which we cannot access, which has some sort of device in the middle. And actually this appears to be a teleporter device, which is a reference to a Soviet science fiction TV series, which was called Visitor from the Future, which was first aired in 1985 and which seems to be quite popular. After that, in the same square where there is the monolith ambush, we have this crate in a corner, as well as another crate in the opposite corner of the area. And then we'll go into uh, this small square place, where we have some boxes as well laying around in front of doors and a small one here near the garages and inside this garage also a box here the content will most likely go to the roof so you don't want to miss that and there will be a crate in the corner here as well and then we go inside this house there is this small box here and after that there will be this huge area where you are supposed to fight with the military alongside with clear sky so there are a lot of uh, boxes wooden boxes around this area but I'm pretty sure they're here just for decoration so they don't really seem to contain anything uh, I'll break them just in case so some here near the fridge and a small box here uh, in the corner and yeah some other wooden boxes that I forgot and then uh, inside the actual building which was held on by the military we have some small crates all around as well as an other RP machine gun user. So pick up these small crates that usually have some ammo here in the shelves as well as uh, here. And there is this small part of the room that you can access by jumping on this broken wall and there will be just one small box in here then we have this track that contains a box inside let's so pick it up and one here near uh, near an entrance of a house one here and also a small metal box here near the corner of the map then another wooden box in here and we get to the area where there are the space anomalies and after this uh, there will be a lot of wooden boxes inside this area so they don't seem to contain anything but that's still pretty cool to see and we have other boxes laying around in the corners of the map as well as inside this garage then we get to the construction site and on the ground floor there will be this small box hidden inside a broken ventilation shaft and in the top floor there will be a lot of small boxes as well as crates inside this corner and then there is this small box hanging on a concrete slab um, under the crane and then we will go uh, near the Institute, the Radio Wave Institute, we have this small crate inside the bus stop here and in the house here we have uh, some small boxes in the attic so pick up those and then we will have a lot of wooden boxes uh, around the Institute itself where the monolith are so break those and as well as here uh, near the street and finally, we are done with Rimansk and are going to the hospital. So inside the first section of the hospital, there is a small crate here near the first stairs. And as well as here near the first squad of clear sky. You can break these boxes with the rifle to avoid the fire. And during this section where we have to avoid the machine gun, we also have some crates that we can pick up along the way. So, one here. Go! 
On the other side of the building there will be more crates, so you can break those. Be careful of the monoliths down there. Here they are. So after you are done with these monolith fighters, you can pick up the crates and loot in peace. And again, a lot of crates. Then we can cross to the other side of the building once again. And we still have some wooden crates around. So these are all scattered around to allow you to get some ammo in the last sections of the game where you can also only get your ammo from crates as well as dead monolithians, so it's pretty useful that they put a lot of crates like this. And during this section where there is a chopper, there will be also a lot of crates all around, so here we are picking up the crates uh, at the first floor, but we'll go uh, down in, in a minute, so we have some here in the staircase, and around the central courtyard we have a lot of crates all lying around, including some small boxes like this in the debris. So most of these crates don't contain anything, so it's a bit long to break all of those. But if you like to search for loot, it's still a pretty cool thing to do. So as I said, a lot of crates around this small courtyard. And we're almost done with them. So after this you have to deal with the heli and at the end there will be some crates that have been broken by an RPG shot from clear sky so you can pick up the loot. And then we are gonna go to the last area, not before picking up this crate. So we're now going to the CNPP itself. And so at the CNPP there are actually no crates that you can pick up, the only thing that you got is uh, the EM-1 rifle, which is a prototype for the Gauss rifle, which you have to use to disable Stralox Psy mission, but it doesn't actually do any sort of damage to other enemies, it, at least it seems. And you also get an FT rifle for some reason, it's not upgraded, but you get that. And actually, that's how the looting ends. There is nothing to be looted from the last area, the CNPP, no crates, uh, so yeah, it's a pretty disappointing ending for the looting part, but yeah, I guess we did it, we finished the looting of Clear Sky. So I thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.